not necessarily the outcome the Utes wanted, but certainly it was a day to remember for this program and for their head coach, Brian Holman, who joins us now. Uh, coach, we'll get to the game itself in a moment, but I want to ask you about the emotions you were feeling pregame. This day, of course, has been several years in the making. What was going through your mind before that opening faceoff? Yeah, um, really at that point, it was just about the kids and, and hopefully they were prepared and, and you know, just trying to get them to, to soak in the moment, but let, not let the moment soak into them. And I think I think that I think it did a little bit. You know, I, I think we played a little slow at times, and but that's that's to be expected. So, you know, earlier today I had some time to reflect and you know just thank the good Lord and 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 a lot of people for for allowing this to happen. And uh, you know, as I told the boys before the game, this is a long long term commitment here to build a program at the level that we want to build and. And, and today was awesome, you know, get to play one of my best friends, dearest friends in the, in the country. And his team was fantastic. I mean, they're really good. And, and we knew that. So all in all, it was an awesome day. It couldn't be better. And uh, like I tell the guys, the sun's definitely coming up tomorrow and we'll get back to work. Yeah, well, given all that was in play, I'm curious, what did you see that you did really like about your team today? You know, the same thing that I liked from the beginning. You know, we're, we're, we're not going to be pretty. Uh, we're going to play hard. And uh, there's so many things that we could correct that would that would I don't think we would beat Vermont if we played them 10 times. But we would certainly if we if we correct a few things, we're going to start to be competitive. And that and that's the goal, right? Every week to get a little better, every day to get a little better. So I thought we played hard. I thought our offense at times ran really well. Uh, you know, our defense struggled a little bit, but they're really good. So they moved the ball a lot quicker and then told the kids before the game, the pace of play is going to be something they would never seen before. And it, and it certainly was so. A lot of good things, and I thought our guys continued to try hard right to the final whistle, and I was really, really, really proud of that. All right, moving forward, I, I took a peek at your schedule, and, and uh, there's some no-joke schedule this year. You got Denver, Duke, Virginia, just to name a few. What are your goals, Coach, for this team in its first year at the D1 level? Yeah, just, just to get better, get better every day, you know, as human beings and as members of this community and uh, as students. Uh, and then as lacrosse players and and so far we've done that and this isn't this isn't going to set us back it doesn't mean that we didn't get better today we certainly got better today because we we played a team that that i think is going to be in the top 12 to 14 teams in the country so we learned a lot but it's just getting better and continue to develop the practices that are going to allow us to compete uh in a lacrosse game throwing the ball better catching the ball better shooting the ball better um and that's that's it so all right, well, Brian, I know we're glad we were part of the first game out there at Utah. Looking forward to showcasing many more. Best of luck, and, and thanks again for the time. We appreciate it. Yeah, same to you guys. I really appreciate it, and we appreciate the coverage. And, you know, hopefully there's a, a young kid out in, in California or the West Coast or somebody watching the Pac-12 conference that says, man, I, I want to I go play lacrosse. And, and that's, that's all part of it. So thanks, guys. Really appreciate it.